You have probably seen a movie, played a game, or watch a live show that really reminds you what a big impact music can have on you. It might be the battle scene in Narnia, the intro scene in Finding Nemo, the last song in your name, or episode 4 in Stranger Things. I have to tell you, when I watched that it completely broke me down and it really made me realize why I love creating music so much. I had to arrange Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush and I want you to be with me during the whole process, starting from the first note, ending with the full arrangement. So starting from today, we will create a really awesome arrangement and I have no idea how it will work, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So I was thinking we will start with just learning the piece so I will play the Stranger Things version and I will try to play along with it and see what's actually going on here. I will try to stay stable during this very, very emotional moment here. And then we kind of get the build right, which we have here, or the verse, we can say. Alright, so here's kind of how the structure of the piece is forming. We have an introduction, which kind of introduces the groove of the piece, right? Then it builds to this first verse. We later have the first chorus. And then we have this building section with the strings. And oh my god, it's so beautiful. And here, you know, the final chorus. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's absolutely amazing in every way possible. Uh, so yeah, we have the chorus again after the build. And finally we have the outro, Oof, and it's equally awesome. And I think something that can be valuable is taking a quick look at the intensity. You know, we start pretty low in the intro, it's a bit higher in the verse, even higher in the chorus, then it goes down to the build, it builds, it builds, it builds, you know, it keeps building, it's building, 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 and bam! All the way down in the outro, right? So, just for fun, I think we can start with trying to do something like this. Uh, but now, I want to go into this build here. Alright, so in the build we seem to have a couple of layers here. We have the bass and the kind of drum groove going boom, 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 down, da, da, boom, 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 down, right? We have the main melody. And then we actually have this string layer going higher up. I think if there's a way to combine this, I think that can be really cool, so <laughs> I will play around with it and see what we can do. We might be able to do the melody and the bass with only left hand. 
Let's see how it sounds with the, you know, higher string line. Oh, that's rhythmically challenging. Okay. <laughs> wow. In the left hand, we'll take care. <laughs> the left hand will take care of three layers. So it will start with playing a chord to capture the lush strings that are in the background. It will later go down to the bass and then mix between the bass and the melody to capture the crew of the drums. The right hand will play the high string notes that you hear in the background. And that can kind of let you build to this. All right, so that's the first section of the build. Let's see what happens later on. So if you listen to this section here, I could hear this small, small, you know, string rounds in the background. So I tried to kind of capture something similar. It was impossible to hear exactly the notes, like... mirrors do you know how clever that is oh wow that is pure genius wow 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 that's such a clever orchestration it's absolutely insane The strings are playing the same run, but more down below. Like, this is incredible. All right, so the reason I think this is absolutely genius, in a scene like this, if you introduce some sort of melodic motif, you will get a relation to it depending on what's going on in the scene. So at the first time, there's so much tension here. I don't want to spoil what's going on, but if you've seen it, you know, right? And by later introducing this pattern again, it will kind of wake up the previous emotions we got hearing it the first time, even though we might not hear it too much, even though we might not think about it, it's there, we are hearing it, and it reminds us of the journey that's going on right now. And there's such a beautiful way I think they <laughs> implemented this pattern, right? And the second time. Oh wow, all right, let's see if we can do something with this. Oof. All right, let's see. If we kind of find a way to combine this. Together with this. You know, it's it's absolutely amazing how that can turn out, but I think that's a problem for later. Now, I just want to get a hang of what I want to do with this arrangement. We know that the structure is, you know, we have the intro, the verse, the chorus, a very big build up to the final chorus, and then the outro, which is incredibly beautiful. And we kind of notice that generally the groove will be boom, 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 That's kind of the rhythmic groove. And there's one extra element which I absolutely adore, and that's the pattern we hear first in the first chorus, right? 
I want to introduce it here, I want to build on it here. I'm not sure what I want to do on the build. It's very hard to make one very good section, but it's also very hard to make 30 bad ones. So if I just try a lot of different int variations, I think I will find one that I will very much enjoy. Alright, so I think I have a general idea of what I want to do now. So we will start with the intro, we will have a repeating note. And we will find some sort of melody that works with it. That slowly... Whoops, that slowly introduces... The mind melody, right? Then we will go to the verse, and here it will be a bit more groovy. And it will build to the main part. And now the left hand will play the pattern. And we will have the main theme in the right hand. Right, so something like... And then the second time we play uh, the chorus, we will do the pattern and the melody in the right hand at the same time. So here I kind of capture both this melodic line and the right hand melody, and I get a lot of room to just freestyle in the left hand. And then we'll have a wow moment, I'm not sure what we'll do here, we'll have to wait on that, right? Then we get to the build, super excited for this one. I want to have a really cool left hand moment here, uh, maybe something like this, right? I'm not sure, but we'll see. And then in the right hand, I will have... Yeah, these very big chords, right? That, that just adds all this tension, but at the same time... And we kind of have some sort of motion that builds into that. And it will build, it will build, it will get more and more crazy, right? And... Then we go to the final, final chorus, before we do some sort of really, really epic run. And here, the only thing I know is that I want to include the hook. <laughs> I will have to see on that one. Uh, but really building especially on the hook and also on a wow moment. And I need to find something absolutely outstanding here, building to the final outro, right? And with that, I think we can create something really, really awesome. Whew. 
<laughs> super excited to continue to work on this. All right, so now when we have a general idea of what we want to do with the structure here, I think for today, we will take a look at other arrangements and see if we can find patterns or techniques that we can use as inspiration for creating some wow moments and some extra touches in what we already have. All right, so we have the first candidate here. It's a Jared Radnich arrangement, and there's a really cool section here. Where he kind of plays the melody, dun, 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 and then ra -da 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 -da, does this fast movement, right? And I want to try doing the same in the chorus. <laughs> it might work. It might work with practice. I will keep it in mind, but <laughs> let's look at some more. All right, so I've been taking a walk and done some silent arranging, and now I think I have a good concept on what I want to do for the entire piece. So we'll start with the intro, having this repeating note. We'll find a good melody. That leads. To the hook in the song. And this will build. to the verse. And there we'll also include a back and forth pattern. And we will have a run that goes to the next section in the verse. And this will lead to the main chorus, where we also play the hook in the left hand. This will be epic and it will build and build, we will do the hook you know in the right hand later. And after that, we will do some sort of short motion that goes up to the break, or the build. And this will continue to build, and I will even add... Oh, you know, melody notes in the left hand while doing this really fast motion. That would be absolutely epic. I'm so excited for it. And I had this idea that we will use the pattern in the original piece and it sounds like this and here I was thinking the right hand can do the run two times and then do this very fast motion upwards 
while the left hand plays the melody. And once we get to this section, the left hand will play the hook again. But now we're in octaves, right? <laughs> this I need to practice as well, but it will turn out so amazing. So we'll do this for, for one round, you can say, and once we repeat the chorus, a lot of exciting stuff will happen here. So we will start with having a pattern in the right hand. That looks like this. At the same time, we'll play the melody and bass notes in the left hand. And once we have done that, the chords will climb downwards. <laughs> but we will make it more epic, we'll kinda do. But I will work on the voicings here a bit, right? And after that... And it's a combination of going upwards and adding the hook. And then I will continue to do kind of similar hook patterns and add the melody in the left hand at the same time. And I will find some sort of round, some sort of pattern here and it will go to one final repetition. And here I had this really cool rhythm in my head going like da 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 So kind of like... Also play the melody somehow. Uh, I will work on it, but yeah, yeah, this will be the final moment. I can't spoil it now, right? You'll hear it in the range fat. And I really like this pattern. So I might use something like that, we will see. But that's kind of the whole structure, right? And what I will do now is that I will simply start to practice. I will fine tune a few notes, I will see if I can get down the transitions. And we'll see how it goes. And this seemed to be a perfect moment to introduce today's sponsor, which is me. I have a Patreon where I teach you everything I wish someone would have taught me when I started out playing piano. For one every each month, you will get 16 monthly lessons covering everything from tips, techniques, progressions and arranging concepts. For four every each month, you will also get in-depth breakdowns of my arrangements as well as progressions for my arrangements. So once this arrangement is up, you can find a progression and more breakdowns of how it was made. If you want to develop your piano playing and arranging, I would really love to see you there. Everyone has the opportunity to ask questions and decide what the future lessons will be. And if you want to develop your piano playing, this is a very great place to be. With that said, now let's see how the arrangement is going.
Whew, all right, awesome. So the next step for me now, so the next step for me now would just be to really practice each section, making sure I can play it very smoothly and well. And once I can, I really hope you will see one of my top arrangements. Now I will do more of these in the future, and the next one will be how to train your dragon. And you can actually vote right now which piece from How to Train Your Dragon you want me to arrange. <laughs> I know I might have been all over the place during this lesson, but I really try to improve for each one, so please give me feedback in the description on what you want to see more and less of in the next Arranging Breakdown episode. With that said, I hope you stay really really awesome, and I will see you soon. Take care!